So guys, today I'm going to try something that I had no intention of trying until I saw Rachel CPR do it. And that is the bowl method combined with squish tube can dish. I don't know whether this is gonna work. I am very skeptical of it, but I'm willing to try it because I think it could be beneficial for you guys. So let's just jump in. So to prep for the method, I have already cleanse, condition, and detangled my hair and I did it all at the sink so that I could do this demo at the sink because doing it outside the shower is way too messy. So, so the squish to condition method is supposed to improve the absorption of conditioner into the hair, right? It does it by keeping the hair wet and allowing the conditioning agents to better bind to the hair, to better cover the hair strands, right? And so those harder to get into the hair ingredients are supposed to work better with this method. Also, the scrunching, all the manipulation you do helps the conditioner evenly apply to the hair and allows the hair to get completely saturated with water and the conditioner to completely coat the outside of the strand, which means the um, the great ingredients can bond to the hair and give it more thorough saturation, right? The low porosity people, for example, have a better chance of allowing the conditioners to really get all over and into the strands and the water to really get in there as well. Or that's the theory, right? And so my experience with this Man, this really illustrated that I have a low porosity hair, okay? It was just taking me so long. So in theory, you keep putting the same water from the cup into the hair. That's what the bowl is for. As you scrunch the bowl, takes up the water, and you put it back into the cup and put it back onto the hair, right? And you keep doing this until no more water goes into the bowl, right? So then your hair will have completely soaked up the conditioner. I stopped the video before that happened. I cannot explain to you how many times I had to do this in order to get all that water to go away. And maybe I didn't have to. Maybe what I did, I was doing was enough. Um, but I really wanted to try it the proper way first, like the prescribed way first, before I modify it. It took forever. Um, I definitely was doing this for at least 20 minutes. And I was just like, forget it. There was like a little bit left, forget it. I did not rinse out the leave-in conditioner, right? I left it in and proceeded to just style. So here are my results. So the question is, was it worth it? Did I get better hair? Did I get better definition, etc.? Well, I'm gonna have to do this again. But what I can say is that eventually, all of the leave-in conditioner made its way into my hair, eventually. It was comical, really. I was just like, this is gonna take forever. I have low porosity hair. I am not enjoying this at all. <laughs> um, but I kept going for the sake of the experiment. And eventually all the water, either all the water and conditioner went into my hair, or, you know, it just kind of, enough of it fell into the sink each time. <laughs> you know, I can't be sure. Did I get more definition? In ways I did. So. At my roots, it was still puffy, but the ends of my hair, especially the colors treated strands, I think were more hydrated because they curled really, really easily. However, my hair felt dry, like not dry, like all the slip from the conditioner was gone um, by the time I was ready to put in the gel. So it felt like I was putting the gel on hair that had no product on it. And I don't know if it's because I use a leave-in conditioner instead of a conditioner, which it's really supposed to be a three-in-one. Um, that's why I use that particular product. I know how it behaves on my hair, um, but I'm, I'm not sold on this yet. I really did not like how puffy my roots got. However, this is fourth day hair and my hair looks great. Like the definition is there. However, this is Giovanni gel. I get good definition with Giovanni, right? I get long lasting wash and goes with Giovanni. I would not say that there is an increase in moisture. That's one thing I can definitively say. Um, I'm not feeling more moisture in my hair. I'm gonna continue to do this squish to condition and the bowl method just to see 
if over time it gets better, I'm gonna do it for a total of four weeks. I feel like that's long enough for an experiment and I'm gonna do it in the shower. So I will not be coming to show you guys again every week. Um, I'm just gonna do it and then I'll come back and let you guys know my thoughts on the technique as a whole. Um, squish to can dish was fine. Like I don't, I didn't feel like my hair, it's like, it looks like scrunching. Like it feels like scrunching to me. I didn't have any more shrinkage than I normally would with a gel. Like if I had just used a cream, my wash and go would have been terrible. My hair looked very undefined. Um, and it was very frizzy at the roots. So my wash and go wouldn't have been good had I just put in a cream and, and, and gone, you know? So I wouldn't do that as of yet, maybe in a couple of weeks. However, I will say that, you know, I steam, right? My hair is very hydrated. My hair felt really good after deep conditioning um, or after conditioning. It was like in prime condition. It was so hydrated. The main choice does that. Um, and then I felt good, like my hair felt good putting the leave-in in. But like I said, when I went to style, it felt like there was no product in my hair. And that's either the product soaked into my strands, which would be like a plus, it would be amazing because with low porosity hair that's not the way it usually works um or all the product was gone <laughs> so i will continue to experiment with this right now i'm not sold and really i decided to try this because it could be an alternative for you guys who don't have steamers for you guys who don't um have heat caps and all that so that's kind of why i'm interested in it and, and trying it more but so far I'm not sold. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a fun experiment for me. Um, let me know in the comments box below if you squished a condition, if you used the bowl method. Let me know, you know, what you think I should change about the method, about what I'm doing with it. And one thing I wanted to mention, because I'm still getting emails and stuff, I did put on the community tab that I'm, I will now do one-on-one -on -one, um, kind of advice with you guys so if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one session with me there is a link in the description box where you get to sign up and pay and all that jazz um, but otherwise until next time make sure you check me out on Instagram it's where I am every day where we interact where I get the DMs where we comment where it's fun or Facebook the Facebook group that's also where I am every single day and otherwise check me out on patreon and the blog thanks for watching guys bye